All right, well, it's a nice day outside. It's been rainy and cloudy and stuff for a couple days, so I thought I'd do this video outside like, like I did the last one. So I'm gonna find a place to sit, but the only problem is the front yard gets some traffic on the street and that's going to interrupt us. We'll make do. I'll just sit in the back of the truck here. All right, well, hopefully this works. Hopefully this is okay. Hopefully you can hear me testing out a new mic today. Got a road mic, so uh, hopefully that's an improvement over using the little lapel mic that I clip on. Anyways, there's been a lot going on since the uh, last time that I didn't upload. Um, had to go out of town and do a project um, for Monday and Tuesday, and then Wednesday I was pretty wiped out. So today I'm working again on the battery project. Um, Doing some testing. The testing's going okay. I'm, I'm knocking some things off the list and doing some basic testing, um, but I'm gonna have to wait, as I kind of feared, I'm gonna have to wait until I get a much more powerful inverter to be able to test out the surge capabilities of the battery and, and some of that stuff. Uh, luckily, I already had an inverter that was on order from Magnum and it's a big boy. It's not gonna have any problem with induction, inductive loads and stuff like that, which is kind of what I wanted to test. So, um, to complete the testing, it's probably gonna be another week or two until I get that inverter, unfortunately. But I will roll some footage and show you um, some basic testing. I did test the, the COM ports, the serial ports, basically. Um, was able to get that to work. Uh, which is really cool. I haven't really messed with that a whole lot in the past and other than connecting serial to charge controllers But it's just a lot easier if they're IP based But once you know how to do it and figure that out it, It's 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 really cool and it also will give you the ability to Connect all of these batteries like if you have a battery bank for a, a solar installation or for um you know, like a, an RV or something where you have multiple batteries, you can connect them. You can have one daisy chained off of the other and, um, you know, monitor all of them at the same time. The Bluetooth app is nice, but it only allows you to monitor one at a time. Uh, speaking of the Bluetooth app, um, the getting the app customized for my company is going to be expensive, so I probably will not be able to do that right off the bat. Luckily, the manufacturer, uh, the, the Chinese supplier, does have an app already, and that you can use that one. It's just not going to have my company's contact info and everything in it. Um, it is what it is. Um, it, it's an expensive app, so I'm not going to be able to do that right off the bat. I'll have to wait till we get some sales and, and all that kind of stuff. So, we've tested Bluetooth. Test, uh, and I'll show you footage of that. It's got pretty good range, a lot better than I thought it would, and it's it's stable, and the app has some really good features. You can even see the individual cells and, and what the individual voltages are of the cells, which is pretty, pretty handy. I haven't seen another app like that before. So anyways, tested the Bluetooth, tested the COM ports, um, haven't tested the heater or anything like that. That's gonna have to be down the road. And haven't been able to test, you know, you know, high current, basically. Um, I have tested charging. So here's, here's a good little tidbit for you. The um, generic lithium chargers, like my Noco Genius, for example, uh, and I knew this. this, this is the same way with the Miller Tech batteries, but they do a good job of charging it up to a certain point, but then that's it. They only get it up to 95%, which is good, and it's not gonna hurt the battery at all. I get this question all the time, so I'm just gonna talk about it for a minute. It doesn't hurt the battery at all to not get to 100%. In fact, there's a lot of people that think that for lithium batteries, that's preferable to going all the way up to 100%. So whether you buy into that or not, it's not going to hurt the battery to not get up to 95%. Lithium doesn't care about that. It's called short cycling, but it's not a big deal. But obviously, most of us are gonna to want to get all of the performance out of the battery. We're gonna to wanna to get that last 5% capacity. So um, there will be specific chargers that will be you know, endorsed uh, or officially supported. 
Um, I'm not going to be selling, um, I'm not going to be produ making one, I'm not going to be importing one for a while, but I will be able to tell you, yes, that's a good charger, no, that's you know, going to be a generic charger that won't get you all the performance. Um, that's pretty much it on the testing. Um, as far as the rest of the updates are, go, we had a lot of votes cast on the logo and number three and number five were far and away the most popular. Uh, number three got the most, number five was in second. So we're gonna have kind of a runoff between those two and I'll post them up uh, at the end of the video and I really need your guys' help to vote on that again and whoever wins that round is, is the one I'm gonna pick. I can go either way, I like both of them. I put a little splash of color in there and, and made some minor modifications to it. Um, those are not the final colors and some of you are probably going to hate the colors. I just did that to illustrate what it's going to look, you know, to, to give it some color and some contrast instead of just black and white. Also I did uh, finalize the Jericho Battery Company name and I registered the business. So I appreciate everybody's feedback on that. There was uh, some good debate about, you know, what kind of image that conjures up um, and some people had some valid points. So I did take that into consideration and at the end of the day, unless you pick a name like Nike or something that really doesn't mean a whole lot to most people, um, you're going to have people that associate the name with good and bad things. And what was more critical to me was that there was, n that I liked the name, number one, and number two, that there was nothing on the market even close to that name. Someone did point out that there is a, an energy company called Jericho and they might be getting into or have plans to get into the energy storage space, but I'm not too worried about that. They don't have any trademarks, they don't have any brand, you know, Jericho battery related anything at all. And so uh, I did pretty extensive searching and I don't see any conflicts, I'm not worried about it. And the last bit of update is, uh, and, and I appreciate the, the Chinese supplier does watch these videos. I appreciate the support, uh, Rebecca. I thought maybe that we would be able to get some smaller orders going before the big order. And I realized that that was kind of bending their rules. I didn't know if they were going to be okay with that or not. So we kind of compromised that they're going to allow me to order a up to 20 um, on this first order by airmail, which is much quicker, less less involved process, but you know, you pay a lot higher prices for that. Uh, and then unfortunately I would have to go to the big, bigger order of 50. For them it's a small order, for me it's a big order. Um, so we're gonna, that's the way we're going to do it. Um, I'm going to order 20 of them when I get done with testing and then we're going to, I'm going to sell those and I'm going to offer a, like a prepayment uh, option where you pre-buy. What that's going to mean is if you go ahead and pay the money up front and wait for the batteries, you'll get a significant discount. Um, if you wait until the batteries come in and I've got 20 batteries sitting down waiting to ship, you'll still get a discount, just not quite as much. And then when I order, start ordering the 50 minimum orders, that'll be full retail price. So anyone who orders any of these first 20 gets a significant uh, rebate or discount because basically you're going to be my beta testers. I'm going to ask for your feedback, um, you know, you're going to be, you know, it's going to be a different experience for you. These aren't going to be like the full retail version of the batteries. They're going to be identical in performance and everything that, don't get me wrong, they just will be the first batch and there's going to be a few things different. So we'll talk about that more later. Um, but I appreciate several people have already reached out so they want to buy them and so we'll go ahead and get a waiting list and a pre-order system set up, start collecting some money, get some orders placed um, and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Before we end the video, here are the two finalist versions of the logo. Please give me your thoughts and register a vote. Just pick one or the other and we'll tally those up over the next couple weeks and then I'll finalize the logo design.
Here you can see me testing the charging of the battery. Uh, the only method that I was able to use that would get it up to a full 100% was with a lithium charge controller. In this footage I was testing the Bluetooth capability, just kind of the range, and it will extend, if you have line of sight to the battery, it'll extend, you know, 80, 100 feet. But uh, going through walls, like going through multiple exterior walls, exterior walls like this uh, didn't really work out very well but if it's just one exterior wall like if the battery was outside my house and I went into the kitchen you know 40 feet away it was just fine. Here's some fail footage of me using a smaller inverter that really couldn't handle the full 100 amps that I was trying to, ch to test so uh, you know, I scrapped the footage and, and didn't use it. It wasn't a really valid test. So I'm going to have to wait for the big boy just so I don't have any issues with running 100 amp continuous and also testing that 300 amp surge capability. And last but not least, here is some footage of the Bluetooth app. This is, once again, this is from the uh, Chinese manufacturer. This is their app and this it's what my app will look like i'll just be able to put my name and logo and branding and all that on there so just showing a couple features you, you, you'll be able to see the individual cells of the battery and you'll be able to see state of charge you'll be able to see uh, uh, amp hours or you know current being used at the time you'll be able to see how many cycles the battery has on it which is really cool so really cool app and I'm excited to get started. So don't forget to vote on the logo and look for another upload early next week. Thanks for watching.